back to stylish nigeria youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to my channel thank you for the love and for the support i appreciate each and every one of you that supported stylish nigeria youtube channel i actually don't take it for granted okay so if you are new to the channel you're highly and very 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 welcome if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell on the side to get an update whenever i upload a new video okay guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this drip top so this is actually a subscriber's request someone actually subscribed um, asked when i did um uh, my live that when i did a live um uh, uh, space question and answer live on youtube for more of slash and spread videos so most of the requests that i got i'm just trying to put all of them in place till the next time we're going to do our live so when you see it you can come and drop your questions ask and then your request so the next time i'll, I'll update you guys so that is why i'm doing this tutorial right now okay so i have my pattern paper here for those of you that don't like uh, using patterns to sew if you want to master the act of um, draping you the truth of the matter is that you cannot avoid making use of a pattern and Slash and spread is one pattern, one method that makes things really easy for you. It looks complicated at first, but once you master it, it is very simple. Okay, so we're going to make use of our basic body. So for this, you can make use of any pattern of your choice for this. So I'm just going to make use of my normal and basic body pattern. So I'll go ahead, I'll extend the lines on my pattern right now. I'll just extend them like this. So I have my bust line here. This is my under bust, and then this is my half cut line. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now, we're going if you notice it is like a one, it is a one shoulder top. So the first thing, the next thing that we're going to do for this, I'm just going to put in my neckline into my pattern. I'll come like this and then I'll mark three. 0.5 inches wide for my neckline so that's 3.5 inches i'll mark it on both sides like this and then i'll mark the depth of the neckline here so it depends on how deep you want it to be on the chest part so that is what we do so for this let's just go with about two inches so this is two inches here now so i'll mark just create it into like that and then the same thing so I'll open this up now and then just blend our neckline together yeah so you can see it is well blended so I hope you can see it okay so after marking it this way the next thing now is how we're going to slope our slope the neckline so for this neckline, we're actually going to stop it into the armhole area. If you notice, it is a very modest slope. It is very modest. So what we're going to do for the armhole area, I'm going to come up a little bit. I don't want it to go in too deep. So I'm going to come up a little bit by one inch like this. So this one inch, what I'm going to do from this part now, I'm just going to mark this first so you can see. Once you do this, you notice... But if I take it down here, it's going to be very open. So like this now, you see it, it's going to be very open. But once I take it from the nip of the neckline like this, and then just take it gently into this part like this. So you can check and know from the shoulder. So five inches, you can see. So five inches is just perfect. So we're going to cut this out right now. So we've succeeded in adding our neckline. So when cutting, just cut on top like this. So the next thing I'm going to do before I continue, so I'll blend this part. Before I continue, I'll use this to cut out the back first because the back is not going to have any drip. So I'll use this to cut out the back before we slash it. So I have my satin here that I'm going to be making use of. I have is about what I have here is one and a half yard of satin. Okay guys, so I've cut out the piece with my satin, 
So the next thing now, we're going to start adding our slash lines. So the first thing we're going to do now on the waist side, I'm going to add my dart. I'm going to add my dart. So I'll just mark that point on my dart. And then the next thing, I'll come to the shoulder part. So for the shoulder, you are going to determine how you want to, to, to create your slash. So I have about four inches here. So I'll come to this point, I'll mark one inch here. I'm just going to divide them into three parts like that. So from this part, I'm just marking it at random. Mark it to this point. And then I'll mark the second one. And then I would mark this third one also like this. So the next thing I'm going to slash my lines that I marked already. I'm going to mark them. So I'll turn it like this and then I'll get my fabric and then place them on the fabric directly. So my fabric is not going to be unfolded again, it's going to be open. So I'll just open it up straight like this and then I'll take my pattern. So I'm going to place them on my part on my fabric right now. So you put it, you are not putting it on fold, put it straight. So for the intervals, you choose how how wide you want them to be. So mine, they are about one inch. So I'll just, I'll just take out the frame of my, of my bodies. So not what I'm doing, I'm putting the, the lines, the extra inches. So I'm marking them on my pattern like this on the down and then on the top side also I will mark them also I will mark the space so just mark the space it's like that part is not sure so mark them mark them and then mark them so the next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to cut this out now. So I'll take this out and then I'm going to notch all of my points. Okay, so the next thing now, we're going to pleat them. So for this, for the first one here, I'm just going to do a tiny pleat on this top part of the shoulder. And then the second one, I'm going to run it to the down part. And then the other one, I'm going to continue, I'll pleat it also on this shoulder part like that. If you notice the pleats, they are not that really big. And then on the down part also, make sure that they are corresponding. And then I have the third one. I'll pleat it on the shoulder part like that. And then I'll take it to the down part also. I'll 
pin it down. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll take it to my ironing table. All of these bits that I've added, I'll go and iron them down. So they come out. So I'll do that and then bring it back and show you. Make sure it runs from the top to the down. Okay, guys. So after this, so like I said, you can determine how big and wide you want your, your dart to be. So the next thing, so this, this is the shorter one here. And then we'll have another one here. So you can add the plate however you want. So the next thing now, I'm going to... I'm going to cut out another piece that I'll use as a lining. So I've already cut that out. So now I'll take it back to my machine and then I'll sew it all around like this and then turn it out. So I've not added the slope. So it's better to do it this way. So with that, it will be easier. Just make the right side to face the right side and then I'll stitch and turn it. So this is what the front piece okay guys so i finished stitching the front so you can see how it looks like so it really looks it looks good so the next thing for the back piece you cut out the same back piece make sure when you are cutting them make sure that the right side is facing the right side so if you notice you can see that my back piece is a little bit bigger because i'm going to add a zipper allowance to it so i'll open it up like this for the zip allowance for the back piece So I'll take it back to the machine now, sew and turn, and then I'll turn them out. And then I'll place it on the mannequin for you to see how it looks. So the back is just normal. So the essence of this tutorial is actually the front part of this dress. So the back does not have any drape on it. Okay guys, so at the end of the day, you can see how our shoulder drape dra top looks like. It actually came out really fine. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, please hit on the like button and if you try this out you can share a picture with me on the group stylish and just group and or send it to me on whatsapp thank you so much see you